What's up, everybody? It's Coach Gary. Tonight, we got the Tar Heels against Charleston. And um, we're going to get this thing started very, very shortly. It's already 8.30. The game's supposed to start at 8.30. Not quite on just yet, but uh, we're going to get started here real quickly. So I'll be right back. what's up guys if you're watching the game like uh like i am then you probably heard that the game is going to start about 8 42 so we've got a good 10 minutes before the game starts what's up darth darth gillis got it right i used to say darth grills i don't know why i say darth grills Got to learn how to look at the 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 spelling there. Brian, uh, yo, Ryan, what's up? What's up? Thanks for all five that are in here already. Let's go, Hills. Hey, Darth. 
I don't. Uh, I'm. Let me check to see if it's on another channel right now. This is the channel I'm, work, I'm watching it on um, Direct TV, two twenty one CBS. I guess it's on CBS. Uh, but let me check. See if it's on my local channel. Hey dog, I tried to I tried to find it uh, elsewhere and I couldn't find it on the local channels on uh, channel two, channel eight. That's usually where I, I, I pick up things. Uh, I guess this is just going to be on uh, this channel. Direct. Uh, I've got Direct TV. That's my carrier, and it's on two twenty one CBS. Uh, as you can see right here on the screen, matchup predictor. And I, man, I, I hate, I hate this. But as you can see, uh, matchup predictor really doesn't give uh, Charleston a chance to win this one. Uh, it says UNC 75.3%. You know, they go on, they, they actually go on this information down here player stats. And then team stats. And because of the stats, you know, that's how this game predictor chooses the team that they think is going to win. Uh, and it may have something to do with the conference, too. But as you can see, uh, Charleston is actually 3-0 the, uh, from the teams that they played. And Carolina's 2-0, still it gives Carolina the overwhelming uh, chance to win this game. And personally, I think Carolina should win this game. But you guys, you, you know how it is. And I always say, you got to play four quarters and respect, fear no one, respect everyone. So I hope Carolina is going in here thinking like this is the toughest team that they have faced thus far, and they are uh, they got to be on their p's and q's because it doesn't matter how what our season was last year. Um, when everybody sees that UNC on our shirt, that Ram or whatever, we get a hundred and ten percent. We get 110% of whatever they can give us. So we got to go in ready to play. We've got a this this ram, this ram right here, that's a target. That is a target for UNC, no matter what. What's up, Michael? What's going on? Yes, sir. Anything can happen in college basketball, college football, everything. Hey, anything can happen in the uh, in the pro ranks too. Ask all these teams from the NFL that 
shouldn't have lost and and, and have lost in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the the Bills, um, dang, uh, Tampa Bay lost twice. Dallas. Yo, Ron, man. Hey, I'm all right, man. What's going on? Hey, is uh, your basketball season started yet? I know high school football around here is still going on, but I think they uh, basketball tryouts and all that have already started. Hey, every single time, every single time, it does it does not matter if we had a, a the worst season in the world the year before or whatever. They it it, it don't matter if we're having the worst season at the time. Whoever we play is going going to give us a hundred and ten percent. They got, they got, they got two freshmen starting and two graduates, and a junior. Six two. They hey, they say Charleston plays fast. Six two, six four, six six, six eight, and six eleven. Charles Limpton, Carolina starting. Davis, Love, I think it was Leaky Black. Oh, come on, oh, here we go, here we go. Leaky Black, Dawson. Hey, hey, how'd, how'd you guys do, uh, Ryan? Hey, Leaky's the same old Leaky. He's the same old Leaky. He ain't really looking to be, I mean, from what I've seen so far, he, he's not really looking to be that uh, an, an offensive threat. I don't know. I think Leaky's just glad, glad to be playing. <laughs> I think he just likes basketball, but as far as uh, him playing offensive basketball, I think so he can um, – Raise his stock to maybe get a tryout with the pros this coming up year. I don't I don't know about that, but he's got the whole season. And he is a six eight. And what is he? A forward or a guard? He's played plays out in the wing like he's a guard. So oh no, not Charleston. Charleston comes out with one of the UNC patented plays, Alley Oop. Back screen lob. And Baycott is fouled. Those scores already 2-0. Look, they got this from North Carolina. Back back screen. Oh, nice job. And Davis, like he never saw it. Come on, Dave. Let's go, baby. You see that in practice like every day. Hey, uh, Mike, I'm going to put it back on the screen. And this this is where I'm this is where I find it. This is where I'm looking at it on. I've tried to look at my uh, local channels. I'm in North Carolina, but I can't. I couldn't find it anywhere except here. Dawson Garcia gets the rebound, gets it out to Love. Love back to Garcia. Back to Love. K 
Carolina with a lot of motion in their offense. Baycock loses it. Is rebounded by Charleston. They drive kick it. Number two takes a long three, and it's good for, for Charleston. Carolina's got to weather this storm right here. It's only two to five, but we're at Charleston. And they've got they've got the the uh, whole place packed, but right there, a little dive uh, dive drive by Dawson. He drops it off to uh, Baycock. Baycock slams it. Charleston shoots. They miss it. They get their own rebound. They just got a little bit more juice right now. Twelve steps in NBA three off the mark. Charleston gets another rebound. Number two shoots a three, and that's good. Carolina's going to have to box out and get some rebounds tonight, baby. Let's go. You know they're going to give you all they got. Oh, Darth, I just, I just saw that, man. That's what's up, man. I'd like to see him one day before before he retires. He may this may be the last. Well, well, last year he said he might play a couple couple more years. So this may not be the last year. I think if they if the if Tampa Bay could win the the uh, Super Bowl, he would go ahead and retire. Dawson with the ball, backing down a smaller young man. Number twelve gets the rebound. Dawson misses the shot, and meets. Goes coast to coast. Come on, Carolina. What do you just go? Somebody stop him, man. Come on, baby. We got to play defense. The commentator on here is saying that, that Carolina needs to start focusing on defense, basically. Carolina comes down. Love hits a two point shot. Come on, buddy. Step up. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. They're swinging the ball. Great. And the co College of Charleston is feeling it right now. Another three to score, 6-13, to 16-31 left. Leaky Black with the ball at the top of the key. Screen set by Garcia. Leaky Black swings it. Almost a grenade to uh, Baycock. He catches it and scores. <laughs> I hear that. Win the overtime. Hey, good win there, Ron. Good, good win. Davis pushes, got, gets a slap away to get it to Baycock. Baycock spins in the lane with the left hand and is good. Scores 10 to 13. Oh, Charleston just coming down, pulling up, raining threes. It's tropical storm buckets at the College of Charleston. Love with the ball. Looks like he wants to go one on one, and he does. Left hand layup is no good. Rebound. Charleston. Number 12, Meeks again, coast to coast. He misses this time. Leaky Black with the rebound out to Love. He pulls up short and misses short. Rebound, Meeks. He looks like he wants to dribble coast to coast again. He stops this time. We, we sort of close out Leaky Black. Leaky Black gets his hands up, boxes out and gets the rebound. Up to Love. Love should have gave it to uh, Garcia, but Love selfishly kept it and slammed it. Garcia looked at him like, right, come on, bro. You ain't going to give me that. 12 to 16, 14, 46 left on the clock. Three new guys for Carolina waiting to come in. Also for Charleston. And as the commentator said, they run, they're running the play, run the little flex offense right here. Oh, quick three. Rebound, Davis. Nobody in front of him. Love thought about a three, pulled up for a two. Rimmed out. Meeks with the ball for Charleston. If you don't stop him, he'll go to the front of the rim. 
Number 25, stuck in the lane, gets it back out to Meeks. Meeks is number 12, pulls a long three. Off the mark, rebound, Garcia. Garcia gives it up to Love. Love could have got called and does get called for a charge. Love, I don't know if somebody says something to Love or what, but he's acting like he does not want to pass the ball at all when he gets down there. It's like I'm going straight to the basket. Timeout on the court has been frenetic. In this first timeout, Charleston is up four points, 12 to 16 to number 18, North Carolina. What's up, Andrew? We, hey, we're going to have to. We're going to have to. That, hey, that's the Charleston looks like. <laughs> Their coach, they have been ready for this game for a week. And the coach said, hey, if, you, if you're if you open, let it fly because ain't nobody holding holding back. Every one of them guys taking the threes beyond the NBA three-point line. And, uh, I mean, I, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, they are, they are out hustling Carolina just a little bit. Hey, what's up, Jamal? Look, I'm going to put uh, the channel I'm watching it on. My carrier is uh, Direct TV. If I can find it again. This is where I'm watching Jamal J. I'm in North Carolina, and this is the only place I can find it right here. I haven't checked online to see if uh if they're if they've got it on YouTube. Probably not this game, but I you, I can never say never because um what was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago they had the Carolina. Gosh, who was Carolina playing? Oh, the Carolina um Wake Forest game on YouTube. Hey, the call they're, they're showing right now that the College of Charleston, I don't remember this game, but Charleston beat them. That was in 2010, 79, 82. <laughs> and they got a photo of it. <laughs> They got a photo of it in their locker room. Come on, Carolina. Hey, Roy. Roy Williams is in the place. We are going. You know, we got to defend. I hear you, Ron. Hey, I hope. I hope you just. I hope the. It's not a serious injury. Good Lord, Carl Charleston is feeling it from three. Carolina, hey, push him up, run him off the three. I see your comment there, Andrew. You guys have uh, fun at the uh, bowling alley. CBS Sports Network. Yeah, this game is just, man, they're just flying around. Right now, and it looks like Carolina is falling in, into their trap. Like, and when I say trap, I mean they are making Carolina play faster than Carolina wants to play. Look, everybody on their team is shooting threes. Thirty-five, pull one. I think he was a. He's the. Uh, oh, come on, Carolina shoots a quick three. Running offense, baby. Running offense. Let's go. Walton drives. He shoots a little short jumper. That's off the mark. And Carolina right now is getting out rebounded by Charleston and up the court. Charleston goes. But Caleb Love fouls a gentleman. 
before he can shoot that layup, it was blocked by Garcia anyway, or by Dawson, I think that who, who that is. No, actually, that wasn't Dawson. The score is 12 to 19. Carolina really is not running any kind of offense. They're just coming down and uh, shooting the first open shot. That's what I mean by they. <laughs> Charleston is making Carolina play like them. Hey, sounds like the coach needs to call uh, needs to like a hey, call timeout. And say run a dang play. That's what I would do. Run a play. I don't think they can hang with Carolina running. Carolina running plays. Swing it. Oh, Garcia, what is that, bro? Stop the ball. Stop the ball. Charleston kicks it out. Number 11 travels with the ball. Number 35. Babacar 5, I think is it. Fi, I think is his name. I see your comment there, Andrew. Yep, Roy. I think that's his. Well, it better be his wife. Can't buy one now. We'll, hey, we're going to settle down, though. There, there's a play right there. Love. Boy, if you would have taken that one. Walton. Yes, sir. Get hot, Walton. Let's go, baby. Yeah, John. I, hey, I mean, I do too, man. And and we've got some guys. I, I think you're talking about Carolina. I got they got some guys coming off the bench that uh that look pretty decent. All right, there's another timeout. Pace has maybe slowed up a little bit. I think uh, I think Davis is, has uh, gotten in these guys' heads and say, look, when we get down, unless we got a when we get the ball in the half court, unless we got a wide open, well, wide open shot, wide open layup, wide open layup, slow down and run our offense. Because I don't think Charleston had, to me, I don't think they have the athletes to hang with our guys. But if they speed us up and we just start coming down here launching threes just because, you know, it may look open. Heck, I I, I thought Love was getting ready to take this uh, – <laughs> Steph Curry three there, Curry three, but he 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 thought differently. We moved the ball, and I think we got a foul. So um, yeah, Carolina just slow down, run their uh, half court offense. I think we'll be all right. I, I I think coming down and going too fast, if we're not hitting the shots, leads right into what Charleston wants because the commentator said Charleston likes to run. So if we miss. If we miss a long three or whatever, they're just gonna they're gonna get the rebound and take off. Uh, the other thing we could do is box out and get some offensive rebounds. Hey, we're not getting a lot of defensive rebounds. Well, we weren't. I think they're settling down now, though. Here we go. Yeah, if skeptic tells uh tell skeptic uh Griffin to uh just work on his game, he'll be all right. Yeah, he does have a smooth shot. Like last year, he had by far he was he had the best three point percentage or shooting percentage on the team. Uh, I think he's starting off a little bit slow this year, but um, again, you got the whole year. And all it's gonna take is one one uh one good game or one decent game. And what I'm hoping too is uh Davis. He's, that last game, Davis went off with, with the three, man. And I hadn't seen him shoot like that, like never last year. I think somebody else said that here too. So if he gets confident and start hitting his three like that, it's going to be it's going to be kind of tough. It's going to be kind of tough to beat these heels. Up. 
We talked about the quick start the College of Charleston, what they've been able to do so far this year. Another nice start. Plus five in that. All right, so for the guys that are on the court right now, Garcia has two points, Baycott six. Well, Baycott was actually off there that last. He's still off the court right now, but he has six. I'll look at the full um, box scores here shortly. Love has four points. There's a steal by Charleston. Wide open dunk by Tucker, number five. Faye has three. Meeks has two. Smith has nine. Manic shoots the three. He misses. Rebound, Charleston. The score is 15-22. I think his last name was Ali. Amir Ali, number zero, drives. And he's fouled on the play. All right, let's go, Carolina. Let's settle down and play basic basketball. Let's go. Famir Ali. Fifteen twenty-three is the score. With 11 minutes and 16 seconds left in this first half. Davis with the ball on the wing gets it to Walton. And Walton throws another. There's a bad pass. Ali, no look pass. And they laid up for two. I uh, don't know what to think right now. Carolina down 15-24, and a lot of this is uh, unforced errors. Davis drives. Ooh. What is the call, ref? Davis drives. He, he flipped that off to uh, Baycock, and I think it was number 35 for Charleston just threw it out of there. Get out of here. Let's go, baby. We got to Hey, No, that was 33 for Charleston. And then he flexes. That's smart. Number 33 is smart. I can remember that. Carolina down by 11. Charleston comes into this game un, unafraid of Carolina. Manic takes another three. It rattles and goes in. All right, there's a turnover by by Charleston. The score is 18-26. Charleston. They're shooting a good three. Manic pulls another quick three. He misses this one, follows his rebound, but it's out. Manix, hey, they, they, they're pulling. They are pulling very quick shots there. Come on, come on, coach. Get on them. Yeah, hey, make them run the offense. They can get that three-point shot later. Another steal by Carolina. Walton with the ball, gets it over to Davis. Davis drives. He's undercut, but it's a charge. I don't know. Might want to look. Uh, I guess they can't. They can't review that. It looked like Davis got undercut. That was. Let's see. Here it is. Right here. It's close. Yeah. I, I guess you were right, ref. You got to call that a charge. Charleston running an offense here. Finally, I hate this camera angle. Smith pulls, misses the three-point shot. Leaky Black 
Dribbling down the court, has his head up. Coach calls a play. Leaky Black still with the ball at the top of the key. Time clock running down, 15 to go. They get it to Baycock. He moves into the lane and is fouled on the play. 18-26, 9-23 left. Baycock misses a free throw. All right, Carolina is starting off this game very, very slow. We know there's going to be a patented run eventually. And I hope they make it before halftime. Baycott hits one of two. We'll learn some of these guys' names from uh, Charleston. Number 11 for Charleston brings it down, swings it to the top of the key. Number two drives in the lane, shoots a fallaway jumper short. Manic with the rebound for Carolina. He finds Leaky Black. It's sort of a weird-looking lineup we got out here. Manic skips the ball to number 22 for Carolina. And Carolina loses the ball out of bound. Let's go. Come on now. Exactly. Don't have a guard in the game. Come on, coach. You got to get one in there, baby. <laughs> That's it. That's it. The commentators uh, making uh, cleared it up. They don't have a good ball handler in there. Another turnover by by uh, Charleston, and Coach Davis is up, getting fired up there. Let's go. Run the dang on offense. There you go, Coach. Tell him. 19-26 is the score. Leaky Black gets it to Walton. Walton drives. It gets past his man. Left-hand layup is good. Charleston takes the ball out. Nobody, everybody runs down the court and leaves. Leaves number zero. I think that was five, not five. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but leaves him and the coach has to call a timeout because there was nobody to throw the ball into. So the Tar Heels have made a little mini run. They've closed it. It was as big as 11 points. Now it is 21, 26, a five point game. Uh, that last sequence of plays right there got coach off the bench. A little bit heated. And from what I saw, he was like, run the explicit word play. <laughs> Which is what I've been saying. Stop playing to the other. And that may be why his two guards are not in there. All right. Stop playing like the other team. Let's play our game. You know, just because they go up, you know, they're hitting a few threes and they go up. Uh, six points doesn't mean we got to come down and just and and try to match their three. Just run your offense. If the three is available, we'll we'll take it. You know how to play basketball. Uh, yeah, just run your plays. But as someone has said in here before, Darth, we got to play some dang defense, bro. Meeks, number 12, turns around and shoots it. He misses. Leaky Black with the ball, leads it up. Gets it to Manic. Manic swings it back to Leaky Black. Over to Walton. Baycock sets the screen. He rolls. Leaky Black pulls up for a two-point shot. Off the mark. Rebound. Rebound smart for uh, Charleston. And Meeks up the floor. Meeks has not seen a shot he doesn't like. But he does get it back out to Ali. Smart with the screen. Ali pulls up. They miss it. But there was a foul by Carolina. And once again, there's another timeout on the court. Okay. Nice little 
Nice action going on in this game. I'm feeling it. So Carolina had Garcia, Baycock, Davis, Love, and Black. No, they they these are not the guys that are out there. Um, let's see, get a little box box score action going on here. See who's doing what. Yeah, Carolina needs to be in these in these types of games early. You know, see what we're really made out of. And and coach needs to be in in it early too. He said one of the one of the hardest things he's having to deal with is is making the decisions, you know. Um, and I understand, you know, on this big stage, probably second guessing yourself sometime, but that's why it needs to be in these games right here so he can get used to it. All right. Box scores. Garcia for Carolina has two points, three rebounds. Baycock, seven points, one rebound. Let's go, baby. Got to have more than that. Davis has not scored, has two rebounds. Love has four points with one rebound. Leaky Black has not scored. Leaky Black has two rebounds. Uh, McCoy. McCoy. Uh, does not have a rebound, has not scored yet. I think that's M McCoy is the young man, number 22, if I'm not mistaken. Manic has uh, one – he has three points. He's one for three from the three-point line. I think he's shooting it a little bit too quick. Run the offense. If it comes back to you, you got a wide-open three, take it because you can hit it. Walton has five points, a three-pointer and, uh, and a drive to the basket. For Charleston, Faye has three. Lampkin has not scored yet. That's their big man, 6'11", number 35, if I'm not mistaken. Meeks has two points, but, man, he's he's pulled some. He's one of eight, so he's taken more shots than, than anybody. Thank goodness he hadn't hit them all. Uh, he's 0 of 3 from a three-point line. Smith has nine points, then off the bench. Uh Burnham has five, Ali has five, and Tucker has two. All right, here we go. Yeah, exactly. Like I, when I saw that, the, the commentators were saying, "Why? How did? Basically, how did they get Carolina to come to Charleston? Because, because really, usually teams like this, teams like this, actually have to come." To uh, to UNC to play, they they you know, it's almost like they're beneath they're beneath us. So if you want to play us, we'll play you, but you got to come, you got to come to Durham, the Chapel Hill, excuse me. All right, Charleston takes a three point shot, misses it. Carolina has the ball, running something like an offense now. Uh, Love is back in. Davis is not back in yet. I think coach is making him think on, on the uh, bench there. Hey, Davis, you're my point guard, right? Oh, another turnover by Carolina throwing the ball in. Let's go. But then Charleston gives it right back. Come on, Leakey. Leakey misses a layup. Charleston bringing it right back. Number five. That's blocked. Love, give it up now, Love. Good pass to Manic. Manic throws it down. Now they got to hustle back on defense. Ali with the ball. They slow it up. Coach calls a play. He picks his dribble up, gets it over to Meeks. Meeks drives, takes a short jumper. That's an air ball, but he's fouled by Manic. Almost an identical play, uh, Manic on that dunk that Leaky Black had. Leaky tried to lay it up. Manic slammed it home. Yeah. 
What's up, Griffin? All right, guys, getting ready to put up my question of the night. Question of the game. Carolina with the ball, Love drives, kicks it back to Leaky Black. They get it down to Baycock. Baycock drives in. He tries to go up. He's fouled on the play. Acock on the line. He misses the front end of another. Uh, the commentator had just said that Charleston has not scored. Oh, come on. Charleston has not scored in the last five minutes, yet they are still up by five. That's uh, saying just a little bit about how uh, we are playing, and that's Carolina, how we're playing offensively right now. We just got to settle down, get it together. We'll be okay. The score is now 24-28. Baycock hits the first. Mannix, once again, is not hesitating on the three. And that leads to another breakout layup for uh, Charleston, for the Cougars. That's what I'm saying. Run a play. Dang, Mannix, just because you're out there. Oh, good pass. Baycock is fouled again. That was a nice little drive by Love. He dumps it off to Baycock. And... Uh, Baycock is fouled. Long rebound, guys. That's that's what I'm saying. If Carolina shoots it just to be shooting it. Now, if it's good if you shoot a three and you make, you're making your three. But with this team, if you miss it, come on, Baycock. <laughs> Baycock misses another front end of uh, two shots. But if they get the long rebound, Charleston is taking off and Carolina's just not stopping them. They don't, they don't have good um, – Defensive balance. Baycott hits another second of of, uh, of two. That's three points we're leaving out there, Baycock. The score is 25 to 30. Five minutes and 33 seconds left. Number 30 pulls up for South Carolina, misses it. I think this is McCoy bringing it up the court, gets it to Love. Love gets it down to Baycock. Baycock, oh, nice move. Nice move. Baycock scores on the spin move in the lane. Carolina moves to within three. Number 11 for South Carolina gets it to gentleman who drives. Short shot misses. Carolina with the rebound. Love driving down the field, driving down the court, gets to the wall. Wall pulls up for three off the mark, but Baycock has great. Box out position and gets the rebound. He's fouled again. The Cougars don't really have that size to deal with Baycock. And um, as long as Baycock doesn't get in foul trouble, he's going to get them in foul trouble. Troy, what's up? Trying to cheer these boys on. Got to get another win for the hometown. Hey, I'm I'm with you, Alan, and I, I hope I hope so. But yeah, you never know. You never know what happens and what can happen in college ball. South Carolina with the rebound. Excuse me, Charleston with the rebound. Ball deflected by by Carolina. Purdue has one of the best court courts in the country. You can't be on 
Hill 73, Charleston 64. I, Troy, they, hey, if I, if, <laughs> look, I'll be good. I'll, I'll be able to run down. I can go down, back, down, back, and then I'll have to go to the sideline. Charleston scores a quick, a short two right there. Yes, yeah, uh, Griffin. I heard Leaky Black tries to get a pass, baseline bounce pass to the wing. It's deflected. 27 32. There's still four minutes left. Before halftime. All right. Number 11. Number 11 goes out and Ali comes in for him. Meeks also comes out. Carolina has the ball. Can we get it in? No. Another turnover on an inbounds play. Let's go. Let's go, UNC. Dang, we look like the horn is at the end of the game trying to get the ball in on the uh, inbounds play. Ali gives the ball to number 25. Wide open three is good. Ladies and gentlemen, that's at least three inbound turnovers that Car that um, Charleston has actually scored on, and Carolina hasn't had a chance to even shoot the ball or to see what we could have done if we've got it. So, I mean, that could be a big turn turnaround. A big difference. Once again, once again, everybody leaves the young man that takes the ball out for uh, Charleston. By the way, in my uh, in my excitement right there, Baycott scored two points. Ali drives. Right-hand layup is off the mark. Rebound. Carolina love dribbling. Ball's deflected from behind. None of his teammates said watch out. Number 25 gets it to Ali for three. Off the mark. But number four, oh, my gosh, he did a great job just getting in front of Baycock. Almost got the rebound. Coach Davis says, hey, slow down and, and uh, run a play. Come on, ref. Let's go, ref. Walton is called for a charge off the ball. Man, I, Carolina might end up winning this game, but I don't like the way it's going right now. And I don't know if uh, Davis is hurt, but he hadn't been in the game uh, for a, a good amount of time, probably about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes. Woo! Hey, this one. Boy, this, hey, this one. I, I'm hoping Carolina just wears them down. Once again, and a lot of people, I don't know if they look at games like I do, but I look at this one, and it even if we win this one, even if we win this one by 20, I mean, it makes me think like, okay, just how, just how good are we? Like, you know, like, I mean, we've got some things to work on. We, we're still we're still a little deficient at a few a few spots, uh, and defensively, defensively, I don't know what it is. We just have not bought in right now. We could, and I know Coach Davis is trying to get them to think that way because uh, Love said that Coach Davis told him that he wanted him to be the best defensive player in the ACC. Not the best offensive player, but the best defensive player. So well, he's trying to get in those guys' head to make them think of defense first because they can score. They're going to be able to score. They can shut other teams down and turn that defense into offense. They're going to score more points. So we'll see what happens. Charleston, I, I'm, I I guarantee you every day this week, Charleston has been going by their little uh, picture they've got 
in their locker room when they beat Carolina in 2010. And they're saying, hey, guys, hey, we beat them in 2010. Let's do it again. And it is packed in there. And the CAA is packed. And the crowd is a little bit hyped. And these boys are going, they hey, they're scrapping. They're scrapping. Yeah, I you ask me, Carolina's got more athletic ability, they've got more talent. But heart sometimes will beat talent every single time. So somehow coach I and coach is trying to. I see him on the sideline trying to get a little crazy. Get these boys pumped up. Don't play at don't play at Charleston's level. Play at our level. Hey, that hey that right there automatically Purdue. That's automatically going to be a. a, 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 a a game. We're going to have to be hitting everything, man. And when I say hitting everything, I don't just mean offense. I mean defensively, all that. Hands up. Hands up, 13. Not bad defense. Box out. Get your rebound. Carolina with the rebound. Love brings the ball down. We call a play. Was this Garcia gets it to Baycock. Baycock put the ball on the floor, gets it back to Love. Love backs beyond the three-point line again, gets it to McCoy. McCoy drives, loses the ball, is stripped. Oh, my gosh, and they lead pass up to number 35 who dunks it. Come on, Carolina. Boy, this makes me mad. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to tell. Garcia drives. He's fouled on the play. Garcia is out there right now. I mean, he, you know, he's getting some rebounds. He's only got two points, I think. I think he was he was getting in. He was getting um. He was getting caught up in that in that frantic pace. You know, some of these guys sometimes they get so they they get so hyped up that. That if one if a team comes down and they throw up a three and they make it, we go down and throw up a three. I mean, that that's the difference between a young team and a team that's hyped up and a team that's like been through it before. Like, hey, calm down. We got four, well, not four quarters, two quarters. We got you know all this time. Calm down. Play our offense. Play our game. And we're gonna beat these guys. Charleston plus eight point five. Ball stripped, but Charleston gets a rebound. That's smart. Long two, long three by number two. And there was a foul called on Charleston. Yeah, yeah they – I mean – Charleston, I mean, Charleston is playing off of uh, pure adrenaline right now, man. Like some of the things they're doing, I don't think are the are the best choice. But I've seen Carolina do some of the same things tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Just hey, come down, play your game, play our game. My gosh, boy, uh, Baycock. I've got to see how many points he's got right now, but he would have at least four more points. He's missing the front end of uh, of two every time. And he makes the second one every time. Jackson Van, what's up? Man, I look. <laughs> the, only, the only Carolina team that I got right now that, that's defending well. Come on, guys. Let's go. I mean, it's we don't. It's not even any help out defense. Anyway, the the only team I got right now, Leaky Black, 
Throw that down, baby. It's Carolina. I meant the Panthers. <laughs> They're playing a little bit. Charlotte, I don't know what I, my, my my Hornets. Now they played they played pretty good against uh Golden State. But I don't know what this these guys they, we've got the length with long. Oh my gosh, what a three. 28 seconds left in the first half. McCoy's three is off. Garcia gets the ball, throws it. Almost thrown away. Walton wide open three off the mark. Rebound Baycock throws it up. He's fouled on the play, but not called. He scores. Charleston comes down, dribbling, throws it up off the mark. And Carolina goes in down number 18, 36 to 42. Yeah, Jackson, man, I, I don't know. It it <laughs> listen, if your teammate gets beat, everybody's been taught. You 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 you're not playing if you're one if you're one pass away, okay. Two pass away, you gotta be off your man. Even if if you're on your man and you see your man, your teammate getting beat, you gotta help out. Help out, make him dis make him kick the ball out. I've seen at least three plays right here where our, the defender is beat and the guy goes has a straight line to the to the basket. Like nobody's stepping over. You know, he's gonna they're gonna hit that straight line layup. If you make them kick it out, maybe you can recover and maybe they'll miss the shot. Or maybe you can recover and close out and he doesn't even take the shot. But, man, if we keep getting beat, and it may be like a little brush screen at the top helping them get, get open, but still, you got to help out, man. Because it's man-to-man. -man. We're playing man-to-man. -man. It's not a zone. I'm pretty I'm, – I'm, if I'm not mistaken, if that's a zone and they're driving like that, then, yeah, we need to go back to the drawing board on defense. All right, but there's another half to be played. There's another half to be played. Who needs to play the Carolina Wave? We got bigs. We use them, rotate them. We got we got a height advantage for sure. Yeah, we do. Um, uh, but I can't even tell. And I think that's why you ask: uh, Is uh, Garcia out there? And he is out there, but. And yeah, I guess that's what you're saying. We're not, we don't have, we don't have two bigs down low. We ain't, we don't have two bigs down low. I, it, to me, it's, it looks like Garcia is playing out like a power forward when he's out there because he's been out there uh, with with Baycock there. And um, when Baycock gets the ball, it's just like Baycock's doing it by itself. They're trying to get the ball to Baycock. And he, to me, it looks like Baycock's the only big out there. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, that's hey, Alan. Hey, that's a good point. That's why I was saying, man, it it it's good for us to be in these games right here because. Uh, uh, like, uh, who was that? It may have been um, Troy. Said, no, it was, yeah, you, Alan. We've got, um, we've got Purdue coming up. And Purdue is definitely going to be better than, than, than Charleston. Uh, and, and Charleston, I, you know, I'm not trying to put Charleston down. Charleston's 3-0, and you know. They're feeling, they're feeling themselves. They know how to win, at least right now. You know, they hadn't felt any loss this season yet. So they're giving, hey, they're giving Carolina everything they got. But we got to shore up some of these, some, some of these uh, defensive letdowns, man. That that guy Meek Meeks, I, what is he? Number two, number twelve. 
man, a couple of times at the beginning of the game, they let Meeks, we let Meeks just drive down the middle. I mean, he not down the middle. He went coast to coast. You know, not I'm, I'm and when I'm not saying this guy is is so fast that we couldn't get in front of him. He just lethargically dribbled the ball down the court, coast to coast, and nobody cut him off. We are, we're actually – let me look at the, uh, the uh, team stats. I think if I were to guess, I would say Carolina is getting out-rebound right now. And there's a turnover right – see, they're looking at – they're re replaying these plays right now. Carolina has thrown the ball away at least three times from the inbound. You know what I'm saying? These guys have – they've got six to eight points – on basically what I call unforced errors. But let's take a look. Let's take a look at the uh, stats and the uh, and the box scores. Let me look at these team stats first of all. Uh oh. After an incident early Sunday morning, Michael Saturina, the grandson of Coach Mike Krzyzewski was charged with DWI, and star freshman Paolo Bancaro was charged with aiding and abetting DWI. Coach K said that the team is reviewing the matter. Tonight, meantime, the Blue Devils welcomed in Gardner Webb at Cameron Indoor with Bancaro John in the starting lineup for the seventh-ranked team in America. Yeah, for and pound for pound, inch for inch, the best player in college basketball. Look how effortless it is for him to score. All right. I'm sorry. I was listening to some uh, news from, from Duke. Uh, I think two of their players got in some uh, trouble, some DUI trouble. I think one of them was the grandson of, of Krzyzewski, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at this. Field goal percentage. Carolina shooting a better field goal percentage, still down 45. Man, that's just unbelievable. 45.2. Charleston shooting 36.6, yet they're they're up six points. Um, Three-point shooting. Three-point shooting, Carolina's two of nine. Uh, Charleston is seven of 16. So we still haven't, we still haven't rectified our three-point shooting woes. Um, like I said, Davis had a good game the other day, but, uh, we, we just, we don't have that knockdown. We don't have a three point shooter. Like just these guys can score, but I wouldn't call them just three point shooters. Flat out. And I don't know what's wrong with Davis. I hadn't heard he's hurt, but we'll, we'll check that out too. Um, and then there's a three point percentage right there. Charleston is shooting a much better three point ball than we are. Uh, free throws, Carolina six of eleven. Charleston five of six. Got to hit those free throws. Rebounds. Actually, Carolina is leading in rebounds, twenty six to eighteen. It just doesn't seem like it. Let's see. Uh, offensive rebounds exactly the same. Carolina's got more defensive rebounds. Uh, assists about the same, steals, blocks, turnovers. That right there could be a – well, it is a big reason. Right there, Carolina has 11 turnovers to Charleston's five turnovers. There's your fouls, and the biggest lead has been 11 points right there. Box scores. Uh, box scores, uh, Garcia has four points, seven rebounds. All right, that looks a little bit better. Baycock, 16 points, five rebounds. Uh, R.J. Davis has not scored. And like I said, I hadn't seen him in the game there in a while. I, I don't know if he's hurt or not. Love has only four points. Leaky Black has only two points. Manic has five points, but he's one of four from the three-point line. He's been shooting threes like crazy, really. Walton. Walton has five points. Uh, his three-point shooting is one of three. So Carolina's not shooting a good three ball. Um, but 
and we're and we're gaining all our points down there uh, in the paint by uh, using Baycott. Uh, for Charleston, Faye has five points. Lampton, that is the big 6-11 guy, has not scored yet uh, in three rebounds. I think he may even be a little, uh, in, in a little foul trouble. Uh, yeah, he has three. Meeks has three with four points. Smith has nine points. Underwood has four off the bench. Burnham has ten points. I gotta check. I gotta check this guy and see exactly who he is. Uh, Ferrar and Smart have not scored. Ali is one of those guards. I think that's number zero. He's got five points, and Tucker has five points. All right. That is the tail of the tape. I wish I had my little my graphic here. My they they would show the uh court graphic, but they're not showing it. That's that's okay. Mooney, what's up? Yes, sir. Too many turnovers. Eleven of, of uh eleven to five. Yeah. Hey, Troy. That, I, I, that's what I got in the back of my head because they just said they're looking into it. That's all that was said. So. Uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Daniel Graves. Jesus, he would have to make at halftime. Man, I, somehow, number one, somehow he's got to get in. He's got to get in these guys' head to go back to basic defense because the defense is going to turn into offense. That's going to get us in a, a transition offense. Uh, but we we got we got to do that. Um, they seem. Charleston seems to be shooting a good three ball. So, I mean, we got to get in it. We got to get into those guys and not let them shoot threes. If they're going to score down low, which is to me is not that easy because we got size, then they get two points and not three points. All right. And we got to, I mean, it says we've got more, more dang rebound, but boy, it seems like Charleston is just getting their hands on loose balls and maybe that's it. They're getting their hands on more loose balls than than we are. It's like they're just they're out hustling us. So that I think uh, I think coach got to make sure that we run our offense because when we settle down and, just, and run our offense and not pull that three real quick, you know. Now it look it, none of this would be we wouldn't be saying any of this. I wouldn't be saying any of this if Manic. Is, is hitting his is hitting his threes if Walton is hitting his threes because we're up. But uh the way Manic is shooting the three, I'm not saying not shoot him, but the way he's shooting them, it's like they make one pass, he gets the ball, and he's got a little room, he's throwing it up, but he's not hitting it. Right? I think Manic could get to the basket. I think he could get in the lane to score. So yeah, just run our offense, run, hey, run through the plays, move the ball a little bit, Manic. Every and everybody else, and then as that shot clock is getting down to like maybe you know seven eight seconds, if you if the ball is swung back to you and you had to open three, heck, shoot it, make or miss, shoot it. I like Manic because uh, I, I at least I've seen him one time shoot a three and he followed his shot, which a lot of people don't do, don't follow their shot at all. So he followed to get his rebound, and uh, evidently that's what he does, he shoots threes. So but I like I I'd like to see us get into the into our offense a little bit more. They're gonna they're probably gonna start double teaming Baycott, and then that's gonna leave us with wide open threes. So we're gonna get a chance to shoot them. We you know I'm just saying don't rush them. Uh, but yeah, coach, hey, get on them about get on them about defense. Take your calm down, young boys. Take your time on offense. They can't stop us offensively if we make good passes and get the ball down low. If they want to double team us and uh, double team Baycock or even Garcia, then kick it out. We got a wide open three. You know, then we just got to sink that. If we don't sink those and they beat us that way, okay, we just had an off night shooting. But 
They uh, if they don't start double teaming, they're not going to stop Baycott down low. And uh, I think, heck, I think uh, Garcia. Garcia looks like I, I mean, like like um, Troy said, we've got the the, the size. Garcia could bang down low. He's been down a couple. He's gotten fouled a couple of times down low. So yeah, he could play down there too. CLC got 15 points off turnovers. Dang. That's, I mean, that's that's it, man. That's it right there. That uh, well, Okay, Mooney. And Mooney, uh, David, just probably said that right there could probably take care of the majority of the problem right there. Stop dang turning the ball over. I just think some – well, I can't say we're just playing too fast and we're turning the ball over. Dang, some of it's just been just like simple passes. We can't get the ball in bounds, a clean uh, pass in bounds. Uh, I know Roy had this play where they those guys they they were moving, you know, had some motion in trying to get the ball in. But I don't know, Charleston might have. I think Charleston's playing above their head right now against Carolina, and that adrenaline. And plus, if we're throwing the ball in and we're just telegraphing the pass and and try and, and taking them for granted that hey, they're not gonna be able to jump and get and deflect this ball. We gotta we hey, but like I said, we gotta think of these guys as being the best team that we have seen all year. And who knows, maybe they are. Nah. Here we go, though. I still got faith in Carolina. I, I think they're gonna make a make a run right here. Settle down on defense. We'll be all right. Jackson, it looks like it, man. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard for teams not to, man. If a coach can get a team to focus on defense and 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 convince them that defense is going to turn into offense, man. I'm telling you, you're going to be a good team. You got to be a good team. Oh, and the commentator just made a, a good a, a good point right there. Our turnovers, a lot of them have come in a in a way where if there's a deflection, like there's nobody back for defense. We're not even in defensive a defensive balance. They're just getting a straight on run to the other other end of the court. He said you rather get a turnover by traveling or something like that, or throwing the ball out of bounds, because at least you get to go set your defense up. There it is right there, Allen. Play Carolina ball, get an uh, open three, go for it. Bigs need to get into the, the paint, clean up defense, get clean pat Exactly. Going to show the game or just give play. I can't show the game, uh, Mitch. If I show the game, YouTube will shut my whole thing down. Ah, come on, another turnover by Carolina. Oh yeah, if I could, if I could show the game, I would definitely show the game. I can't show it. Yeah, we ain't looking real good right now. I still got faith that we're just a better team. Just better athletically right now, and we're, we'll we'll that that'll that'll bring us the win. Oh, long too. Ah, oh, we gotta hang on. All right, so look like Baycock lost out of bounds, but Smart knocked it out. So it's Carolina's ball, thirty six forty two. Manic with a three. Get stops. Charleston scores down low. 39-44. Baycock drives from the top of the key. Left-hand layup is no good. 
Charleston off running. Lampkin, I think is his name, gets it to number 11 who drives, gets in the paint, loses the ball. Manic comes out of there. Davis is back in the game. Davis going to the basket, left hand layup, throw it up. He actually switched that to the right hand, laid it up, and it's good. RJ Davis. Let's go, RJ. We need you, baby. I don't, again, I don't know why RJ Davis wasn't in there for at least, at least eight to 10 minutes. But coach got him back out there now. Maybe he's had him on the bench, letting him think a little bit. Go out there and control the. To control the game, point guard. He's out there right now. Hey, Jackson, I hope we'll be a, a contender. We'll we'll see. Hey, that's what I'm hoping, Mitch. I can't show the game. If I could show the game, I would definitely show it. Come on, dude. What do you think this is? Dang, get out of here. Nonsense. Get your hands up, Leaky. You're 6'8". Get your hands up. Davis back on the line. So Davis did not have any points in the first half. Plus, he was taken out of the game there earlier. Well, with a, for about eight minutes. Now off the bench, he has a quick four. Oh, this is a free throw. 43-46, Carolina pulled to within three. Earlier in the game, Smart fouls Manic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Davis drives. Oh, left hand layup doesn't go. Actually switched that to his right. Skip pass. Love. Step back three. Good. And there's a foul on the floor. The bucket does count. And there was a foul. On the uh, on Charleston, nice little skip pass by Leaky Black. Step back three. I think it was a three point shot. Call timeout. Man, we got to get some more movement because that right there would have been another turnover, out of bounds turnover. Gonna have to set some screens, coast. They're matched up. Gonna have to set some screens to get those guys open. It's not a thousand lights twinkle that makes their holiday special. It's you and 20 volts whirring, 10 dishes warming, eight guests arriving, 42 inches rolling, a million leaves blowing. Yeah, that's what we got to do there, Alan. I, I think that's what we're doing. Just, just settle down, guys. Settle down. Uh, Black Friday prices now. Tar Heels and just work your way back into this game. Don't worry about those guys. Charleston is a decent team. They are definitely going to hit some some shots. But just because they hit a, a a long three and the crowd gets into it, we don't need to we don't need to rush back down and throw up a three. Run your offense. The three is going to be there. Run your offense. Move. Put some. Put a little bit more motion in the offense. And we'll be just fine. Let's see what this uh see how the stats have gone up. 
or how the stats have changed. Uh, from a three-point line now, Carolina, three of ten, I think is a little bit better than that. I think it's just a little better than that, but it's saying three of ten. Uh, I thought we were two of ten. I thought we were three. Uh thought we had three three-pointers before half. We got to do a little bit better at the free throw line. We're eight for 14. Turnovers were now at 12. So that's one after halftime. All right, so we got a timeout. Carolina has chipped away at this game. We definitely need to uh, get a lead and get this crowd out of it. All right, so that was a two-point shot by Love. I'm, especially right now, especially right now. Him again, the goat. I like that name. Especially right now, if we if we can focus on defense right now, I think we'll be all right. That's going to cause that's going to cause some turnovers. All right, Carolina taking the ball out under their own basket. They're in a baseline formation. Baseline. There's the screen. They get it in clean. Get the leaky black on the on the opposite side. Try to run that patented play. Looks like a little flex offense to get the ball down to Manic. Uh, defense, defense did a great job defending right there. I think that's number thirty-two. But then there's a foul by Ali at the top. Davis drives, kicks it to Manic. Manic takes the three anyway. Come on, Manic, what are you? Let's go, baby. I know he's confident about his shoot, man, but dang, swing it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Well, but maybe, maybe they were running out of time on the shot clock. I don't know. I I, I don't think so, but whew. Davis defending Ali at the top. There's that brush screen. It's blocked by Baycock. Baycock gets the ball to Leaky Black. Davis comes and gets the ball. I feel more confident with him running the plays. Double screens up top. Davis goes to his right, gets to the Manic. Manic takes another three, and he – that's what Manic does, I guess, babe. Manic hits another three. Hands up. Okay, we made him drive. Get down to the into the into into the paint where the bigs are. Ooh, nice little three-point shot there by, I think that was Smith or Ali. So I say we got a – Carolina had a lead right now. They are down by one. And then Manic sets a bad screen, I think it is. And there's another turnover. Carolina down by one, had the lead. Had to leave real short. Woo! I don't know, Rev. That was that was close. Yeah, run these guys off the threes because they are that they're a good three point shooting team. At least they are tonight. If they're gonna score, make them hit, make them shoot twos, no threes. Right there's another three wide open. It's off the mark. Love with the rebound. He's got his head up dribbling. Gets it down to Baycott. Baycott has a smaller guy on him being double team. He goes under the basket, reverse layup. Baycott puts Carolina back up by one. A steal by Davis. He's fouled on the play. Let's go, baby. Play some defense. Play with some heart, baby. Let's go. Get dirty. I mean, on the floor, dirty. <laughs> Carolina in that one 
that one four offense because Baycock, I'm telling you, when he gets the ball down low, he's like the only big man. I thought I thought Manic was a big, but I think I don't I don't I guess he's more like a forward. Because once Bay, once Baycock gets the ball down low, that he's the only big. He's he's the only guy that plays low for Carolina. But it seems to be working right now. Carolina has uh, worked their way all the way back. They are one point ahead. Keep playing defense. We'll be okay. All right, yeah, thanks, Jack Jackson. I couldn't remember. We're two of nine before uh, halftime. And I thought we hit two. I thought we hit two. Oh, okay. Um, Manic hit one, and uh, Loves was called a, a two point shot. That's what got me right there. No, Jackson, Roy is in the house. So if Roy is screaming, he's in the stand screaming. Roy is Roy is in the building. <laughs> Yeah, Roy's at the game. Hey, thanks everybody for for uh, showing up, hanging out with me. Uh, and if you can if you can see the get game, that's even better. To be hanging out and just uh, you know, making your comments about the game because if you guys weren't here I'd be I'd be here yelling at the television and my 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 uh, my wife would be back there calling me crazy cuz I'm talking to the television nobody can hear me my daughters used to do the same thing before they before they moved out to their own apartment but uh that's what I do so I got some I got some people to talk to talk basketball with a little bit here and my favorite team Carolina, in fact, any team that's Carolina is my favorite team. So, Colin Park, what's up? Yeah, Roy's at the game. Yep. Dang, I didn't know that. Hey, really, like like this dude just loves basketball. He just loves it. He can't get enough of it. Love drives, gets to the Baycock. Baycock right over the front of the rim, and it's good. Number 11, dribbling the ball for uh, Charlotte. Excuse me, Charleston. Get out there on him, baby. Make him drive. All right, hands up, rebound, rebound, rebound. Baycock dribbles, gets it to Love. Carolina up 52-49, 15 sec, uh, minutes left in this game. Love takes a long three. Manic gets his hand on it but can't can't corral it. Meeks, oh, throws the ball away. But I think uh, Leaky Black kicked the ball. Hey, uh, Charleston will let you get back in it. They they make some mistakes, but Carolina just got to keep playing defense. Hey, this Smith guy, he and Meeks, they don't turn any shot down. Evidently, that's what he does. He shoots threes because he's been taking them. He hadn't been hitting them, but he's been taking them. Manic takes another three. That's off the mark. Man, I wish Manic would drive some, bro. Right? Bay Meeks trying to go to the froze. Oh, see, spin move. They'll let you stay in it. We got to get those loose balls, though, Carolina. Let's go. Smith drives left hand layup is no good. Manic call for the foul. Now, Hang on. Hey, 
Big Smith. That's one thing Pat Kelsey said about this true freshman in Australia. He's not afraid of anybody. Okay, I got you. Peggy Bennett at St. Mary's can tell you about that. Smith. Hits his free throws. It is a one-point game now. Baycock trying to go high-low. Trying to go high-low. Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. I was wondering when I was going to see that. Baycock and Garcia, high-low ball. I didn't say high-low. But, uh, yeah, those two guys. I'd probably rather see uh, Garcia, since he likes to shoot outside, Garcia be the the high guy and Baycott low. Garcia hits the first of two free throws. Carolina goes back up by two. What's up, CCG? Oh, he misses the second one. Hey, that's my daughter right there. CCG. The McKinney's. Yes, sir. Let's go. Go Heels. Block. Shot is blocked. Rebound by Carolina. Davis with the ball. I, he thought about a three. Inside to, to uh, Garcia. That ball is turned over. Smith takes another three. It rims out. Rebound. Garcia. Let's go run something, baby. Run something. You can get that three-point shot later. Nice little drive by Davis. Nice screen by Garcia. Charleston back up the court quick. Ali being guarded by Davis. Smith being guarded by Walt. Ali drives, but he's fouled by Davis. Hey, I wish he would drive a little bit, man. Mix it up a little bit. Mix it up. Yeah, because today he's just, like I said, <laughs> he is shooting anything that looks open. He's shooting. Any three that looks open, he's just shooting it. What's up? What's up, Crystal? Ollie with the ball, Carolina, trying to play some aggressive defense. Pulls up short two, rebounded. Carolina, Garcia dribbling the ball, don't like that too much. Gets it to Baycock at the top of the key. Baycock, spin move in the paint. Left hand layup is good. Baycock cannot be stopped in the paint. Let's go pick up the ball. Ali thought about the three, driving in for the two-point shot. And Charleston gets the timeout. Baycott. Baycott. And Baycott was out of bounds. <laughs> Man, and ref, the ref just standing there looking at that. Hey, sometimes you gotta get luck. You got so luck's gotta be on your side a little bit there. Yeah, I like to see more of them too, cause I don't even really know these guys right here. I'm gonna have to look these guys up. All right, Carolina has hung in there, and they have come all the way back. Can we hang on to the lead? Don't give these guys any threes. Man, I wish I was at a UNC Stadium right now. Daniel Gray's in here. Make comments. Surprise fees. Whoo! 
Boy. I, I like these games. Like, I, I, has Carolina had a blown a blowout yet? I don't think they've had a blowout. Uh, Loyola, Loyola. I think that's how you say it. Uh, eighty-three, sixty-seven. Brown, ninety-four, eighty-seven. Well, hey, this might be the best thing, man. Don't don't schedule these. I mean, they're scheduling these games to get warm to to uh to get our legs under us and all that. But, you know, schedule these games with, with teams that that's going to come at us. I don't think they would, they, they, I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think that Carolina, you know, scheduling these teams, all these teams would be this tough, but Hey, I think this is good, man. Get us ready. Get us ready. Cause when those Duke boys come to town or when we got to go there, I've seen them guys play, and dudes got some ballers. Carolina's gonna have to be ready to go. We're gonna have to be ready to go. But I'm with that. I'm with that uh, sky blue all the way. Hey, you're right about that, uh, uh, Mitch. Inspiration. I, I wonder. I wonder what kind of what kind of pro he's gonna be. Love drives left, right hand layup, good screen up top. Good call, coach. Oh, get that out of here! Let's go. Push. We got the advantage. Uh, get it down. Get it down. Garcia. Back up, Garcia. Ooh. All right. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. We got a, I, we've got a better look. It's like we're at the top of the stadium looking down. We got a better look at what's going on than the guys on the floor. So. We can see what's going on. All right, Carolina taking the ball out. They're in that baseline. They set a screen, get the ball in the corner. Garcia out the Baycock. Another turnover. Let's go. Baycock, ah, uh, call for the foul. Come on, guys. Man, we're being lackadaisical with these passes. I hope coach gets them in, in, the, in the film room and just says, look at this, guys. Look at this. I mean, love, love didn't help him. He was just like basically standing there looking like, I know you're not getting ready to throw me the ball. Come on, guys. Let's go. Game is not over. 51, 59, 11 and a half minutes left. Next few games are going to be tough. Yeah. Hey, and them two freshmen in scoring too, man. I'm telling you. That that guard, man, number one. He surprised me. Right, right. Love drives and the ball's not out of bounds, but I think he's fouled on the play. Tron, what's up? Not really. I, I mean, I as far as seeing the game, can't can't show it. This is our uh, YouTube rules, um, honestly. And I'm not even just I'm not exaggerating. If I were to show the actual game, they would shut all of this down. So as far as seeing the game, no, I'm not doing that. I I I can't. I don't have the power to do that. 
and take you better shots. And you know, what you just saw there was a good example of that. This season is young, but you know, Kevin Love field goal percentage way up, three point percentage way up last. I, I think so. I think we. I think we're a lot better team than we were last year. About this time, Chase, what's up? Come on, man. Oh, no threes, man. Look, we're gonna. We got to play the whole game, baby. This team is not going away. Garcia. Fakes, he spins and loses the ball. Actually, it was it was a rip. It was stolen. Carolina. Almost gets a steal. Man, look, this is really good for Carolina because they 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 have got to be alert and aware of everything that's going on around them. This team is doing whatever they can do to get loose balls. They're hustling to get loose balls, rebounds, anything they can do. Hey, just like I said against Brown, even though this team is 3-0, three, three and oh, they're probably playing the best. <laughs> their best they played all year. Maybe the best they're going to play all year. I like the little offensive set they started right there. Ali with the ball in the paint. Throws it out. Number five drives. Get it out of here. That was blocked, but I think it deflected off of Smart. Might have been a block for Baycock. It could have been Baycock or uh, Garcia. The score is 61-56, Carolina. Nice little set play. Carolina hits a three. Fight around the screens. Trying to ride the screens. Don't let them pull up. There you go. They get inside. It's going to be hard for them to, to deal. Their guards are so small once they get down in that paint. Uh, we've got Baycock, Garcia. we got some size down there. It's kind of hard for them to shoot down there. Real Kid TV. No, Charleston is not. They're not. They're not a bad team. That's what uh, I think Jackson was saying. Like like uh, Hubert or whoever schedules knew that this was a veteran team, and they they're gonna play Carolina to the very end, which is which is good. Carolina playing these teams that uh that are tough teams. That's what Duke does. Who Duke start off with with Kentucky, right? I like that little offensive movement right there. Garcia takes a three. Don't like that. Don't like that. He wasn't comfortable even shooting that. Oh, that's burning. Back to number. Back to Smith. Shoots another three. He hits it this time. Hey, he's he Smith is one of those guys that'll take ten threes and miss them, but he's not gonna stop shooting because that's what he does. Love. A lot of dribbling, gets it to the lane, kicks it back out. Walton. Walton. Oh, come on. Did you give that to us, ref? Walton shoots the three. It goes in, but now the refs are discussing that. It was before the shot. Walton controls himself, gets his balance, shoots the three, but he was fouled before. They're going to the replay or something. 64-61. Oh, they're they're calling they're calling the foul on smart. Eight minutes and 57 seconds left in this one. Oh, 
Yeah, that is going to be big. That play, that play is going to get loud. Big Sam Howe. Garcia shoots. It's the first of two. Hey, that, that's going to that's gonna be as loud as uh, it's going to be when when um, when Cam when Cam Newton walks in the Bank of America Stadium for his first home game back. Hey, I, hey, and look, and South Carolina. I mean, I want to call them South Carolina, Charleston, and they could be from South Carolina. But anyway, Charleston is uh. They got some three-point shoot. Come on, guys. Let's go. Saw that play happening. See the man in the ball. Help out. That was a dang double screen he went by. We still didn't stop him. All right, Davis with the ball. 66-63 is a three-point game now. Walton with the ball. Kicks it over to Davis. Carolina sort of stated Davis had to take a long three off the mark, and that goes out of bounds to Charleston. Exactly. Commentator said it. Charleston will not go away. A lot of them, too. A lot of them. Baycock's not on the floor right now, either. Come on, guys. It's too easy. Let's go. Manic with the rebound. Gets it to Love. Love passes to Leaky Black. Who scores? There you go. Way to look up the court. Stop ball now. Stop ball now. Lipkin spins. Nice little move. He saw uh, Manic down there and just went straight at him. 68-65. Carolina still up by three. Walton with the ball, gets that to Leaky Black. Leaky Black gets it over to Love. Love thought about a three. No moving on the offense right now. Ah, too much dribbling with me. Love gets by him, throws it up. Manic with the tip. Let's go. Slow the ball down, meets. Swings it back. I got to learn number 11's name. All right, South, South, not South. Charlotte runs a play. Thought about that double screen. Drives. Oh, get a rebound, baby. Box out and get a rebound. Let's go, love. Let me, let me stop calling guys' names out. Seven to 65, Carolina up five with six minutes and 56 seconds left on the clock. This game is not decided yet. Carolina goes up, I think, maybe by nine points, I think it was. But um, Charleston is storming back with Baycock on the bench. Coach trying to get him a little rest. Hey, I, I I know I know the teams I like. I know they're all Carolina teams, and uh, you know, and uh, but um, technically Duke is from Carolina too. But I just that that's not my team. But I give respect for teams that that play well. I give respect for good. Co I got respect for good coaches. Like you know, not gonna hear me say something like just because I don't cheer for Duke that. Duke sucks because that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to say Coach K is not a good coach because that doesn't make any sense. It's because I don't cheer for these guys, you know. Man, look, e even in the NCAA tournament, <laughs> in the NCAA tournament, once everybody gets out, and let's say Duke is still in, it's hard for me to cheer for those guys, but I, I'm not cheering for nobody else. I'm not really cheering for them, but, you know, if you had – if I had to pick, 
you know, if Duke is the only one in the ACC left, I'm going for an ACC team, put it that way. King Champ. Yeah, I, I think Roy's going to be at as many as, as he can be at. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna be behind bars, you know. Uh and I don't know the whole story. All I know is they were uh look what they were um uh I don't know if they were arrested, but oh yeah, for uh DWI whatever. And uh I think the last that I've heard of it here on, on uh the game here that Duke is looking into it, so that's all I got to say about that. Um, hey, guys. I, hey, once again, thank you for everyone watching, you know, this game with me. Um, if if you can't see the game and I'm doing and I am doing any bit of service, you know, doing a little commentating to help you see what's going to uh, hear what's going on. Hey, that's that's what I'm here for. But, guys, do me a favor and hit that like button. Another three by Smith goes in this game. Once again, it's, it's two points. The two-point game. That Smith kid is going to shoot from everywhere. Love with the ball at the top of the key. Has the 6'11". What's, that? What's his name? Limpkin? No, that's Fi. Fi on him. Fi fouls him. Hey, thanks, Jackson, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. Coach K grandson doesn't even. I yeah, I, I you know I thought I thought maybe his grandson was like somebody on the team I didn't know, but yeah, I was thinking that maybe he didn't play, he was just hanging out with his dude. Or is he on the team and just doesn't play? Let's go. Stop Meeks. He is not. He, Meeks is going to go to the basket, guys. This is this guy I'm talking about, number 12. He doesn't look fast or anything. He just gets the ball and goes coast to coast. Let's go, baby. Hey, no problem, uh, Alan. I just like to look at my teams, man. All my Carolina teams and, you know. If I can help somebody that's that's a, a, a Carolina fan or whatever and they can't watch the game and I'm doing any kind of little service, hey, that's what I'm here for. I appreciate that, Jackson. Oh, Davis gets the rebound, but he's out of bounds. And I think that's Charleston's ball. 72-69. Six minutes, 23 seconds left in this one. Yeah, I gotta I gotta do I gotta do 50 push-ups for my uh for my last 50 subscribers. I gotta get that done. Probably get it done tomorrow. Nobody watches that those uh little videos though. Oh, okay, Colin. Smith, he drives this time. That he's fouled on the play. So Charleston can pull within two. Yeah, he got all arm on that one. Hey, hey, Izzo! Thanks for uh, for being here watching the game, man. Hey, you you probably you you doing what I do? I watch Duke. I mean, now I, I like to see I like to see. Um, Good basketball. So I, I do watch Duke and just to see what Duke is doing and what kind of team they've got. 
So I, I, I'll see if Carolina – know if Carolina has a, a great chance to beat them when we play them. <laughs> it's a one-point game. Walt with the ball behind the back dribble, throws up a three, and it goes in. Hey, thanks, Chase. Appreciate it. Kayla Love brings the ball up the court. Oh, step back. Two point shot. Oh, nice. Sweet by Love. Carolina goes back up by six. Five minutes and 30 seconds left. Meeks driving again. Get your hands up, Leaky Black. You got him, but you got the height. Meeks shoots over him. Oh, come on, ref. To me, it, look, it looks like if you leave Meeks open for uh, Ch uh, Charleston, he'll hit it. But if you play defense on him and make him change his shot a little bit, yeah, he shoots. He, he shot a, a few air balls today. But he hadn't stopped shooting. Baycott with the foul. He has three personals, but there's five minutes and 20 seconds left on this in the clock in the game. So Baycott stays out there. Manic comes in. All right, Manic, you got to be smart. Hey, right, run the offense a little bit. Ali shoots from the free throw line. He hits his first. Yep. Hey, you got to study him. You got to study him, man. I don't know why I always look at Duke. I mean, Duke is the uh, Duke is the highest level. So I'm like, if we can play with Duke, then we can play with everybody, anybody. So I always got to check and see what Duke does. All right, Carolina. Up by four, five minutes and 17 seconds left in this one. Love with the ball at the top of the key. Gets it over to Walton, the Manic, then they swing it to Leaky Black. Back to Love. Love had a little shot there. He drives. He's fouled on the play. Hey, these refs are calling it. If they reach, the refs are calling it. All right, number 25 is Burnham. Number 11. Number 11 is the under guy. All right, Carolina. Hey, just keep grinding. Keep grinding. Make sure you take advantage of these free shots. Both teams undefeated on the year. Love hits both free throws. There's Big Roy. There's Big Roy with his Carolina mask on. Oh, my gosh. That Look, that's primetime television right there. Turnover by uh, Charlotte. That's a well landscape. Yeah. Yep. That's going to be, hey, that's going to be Walton with another three. Have a game, young man. There you go. Big Dean, step, not, I said Dean. Big Roy standing up. Hey, look, hey, you got, and you got to think about it too. Roy, Roy recruited one third of the guys on the, on the court. Walton. Hey, he actually he recruited everybody out there except Manic. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be in the house to see to see his boys. See his boys get better. Yeah, but yeah, but when uh it it'll be interesting to see who that um 
see who uh, Coach K's replacement is. All right, under. I think that's his, his, his uh, under something, but Charleston misses a free throw. Manic with the ball, swings it to Baycock. Baycock gets it over here to Love. Love drives, almost slips down. The lane, left-hand layup is good. Four minutes left on this clock. Carolina up by 10, and Charleston calls a timeout. I'm actually I'm glad to see Love uh playing better. Actually Love and Davis because those guys were uh you know Carolina what did Carolina they said Carolina had like one one of the top was like the 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 third or the second best recruiting class last year and then those guys didn't quite live up to like what everybody thought. So I'm I'm definitely glad to see these guys uh improve. Now, here's the thing. How much are they going to improve? And I'm saying that because, you know, when guys improve a whole heck of a lot these days, they don't stay around in college long. They don't stay around long. So. Depending on how good they get, especially with love, I'm, I'm thinking the way Love was uh, recruited last year, that if he had a balled out last year, he probably would have got out last year. He probably would have been he probably would have been gone. So I'm thinking, you know, he came back this year. I wonder what's going to happen if he if he if he has a really good season. Will he come back one more year? Will Davis come back? Davis reminds me of uh uh oh my gosh I just saw the guy play the other night he's in the pros used to play for Duke he was a point guard too I can't think of that guy's name Izzo you might be able to tell me I think he played for Duke a couple of years ago he's in the pros right now dang who was he playing for Carolina just played him I can't think of the guy's name. Oh yeah, hey, hey, you you are right. Um Colin, they said that the other night uh at the uh Kentucky game. Yeah, he he's the one that's going going to take they already got you know they're going to keep it in house just like Carolina tries to uh or Carolina does. Yeah, and cuz John John played at Duke. So yeah, they did already say that. Yeah, Trey Jones. That's who. We're, that's who he reminds me of. Uh, Mitch, Miss, Mitch, Spiration. No, not Grayson. Not Grayson. <laughs> when he goes to the, let me be quiet. I'm not even gonna say anything about Grayson. Grayson's, Grayson's in the pros now, getting paid, doing his thing. All right, here we go. Carolina right now at four minutes, 10-point lead. And you know Charleston drew up a play, Meeks with the ball. He wanted to pull that one. Ali in the lane, tries to shoot over Baycock. Baycock could have grabbed that. He blocks it out of bounds, though. 13 seconds left. <laughs> Look, I didn't know. He, I didn't know. Oh, good play right there by, I think that was the Burns guy. Another turnover by Carolina, but I think there was a foul called. Maybe he was out of bounds. Almost a turnover. Can't get lack of days ago. 84 76. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know uh, Grayson Allen had it in him, man. 
there to that was it the light was it the last year or the the uh his junior year when he started showing those signs of uh whew, going off a couple of times love with the ball love drives again oh he's fouled hard Burham, that's his name. Burham with a nice little two-point basket in the lane for Charleston a few minutes ago. And he fouls, he fouls love with the body. <laughs> Look, y'all have I, have y'all heard about uh, Grayson going off in the pros yet? Tripping people and doing doing stuff like that is a different it's a different level. He got some grown men in, in the pros. <laughs> oh love hits one of two. Tucker drives. Okay, Tucker drives, but he is fouled by Walton. At least it wasn't a, just a straight easy layup. Both from Minnesota. They both played on the same AAU team. That helps. That'll definitely help. He's got two next. Denville. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take a look at that at the end of, at the end of this. Man, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't believe. Well, he must know exactly who to trip because. <laughs> Boy, you tripped the wrong one. He's gonna have to throw those hands. Oh, there was a free throw that was missed, and it was tipped out of bounds. I think to everybody in the uh, in the yeah in the stadium, it was obviously tipped out by Baycott, but the ref. <laughs> Pointed the wrong way, and everybody went crazy in there. All right, they get the ball to burn. He almost falls. Blocked from behind. Love has, has the ball. He calms everybody down. Says, "Let's walk this up the court, baby." Three minutes on the clock. Got to keep playing though. Don't force it down there. Gets it to Baycott. Somebody cut. Ten seconds on the clock. Love drives left hand layup off the mark. Baycock fouls. Fouls Tucker. Hey, seventy six to eighty five. Game still not over. Yeah, he he just he just missed that layup. Got to finish that one. But uh, I like the way Carolina Carolina ran something. Took a little time off the clock. Yes, sir. I live in North Carolina. Tucker was the MVP of that three-game tournament that Charleston hosted. Dave Cole Scott, Jim Braddock, Phil Ford, Al Wood. Y'all, you don't, Conrad. You don't know nothing about Al Wood. You don't know nothing about Al Wood. Al Wood, Jimmy Black, Matt Darty. Man, I, as some kids now, when I was young, I don't know what you guys do uh, do now, but when I was young, you'd watch a game and then you'd go out and try to mimic players. Al Wood was my man. Don't nobody know nothing about Al Wood around here. Good dump off. Baycott with the layup assist. Assist by Caleb. Balls deflected out of bounds. Hey, at least Leaky Black's playing some defense, man. Yeah, I was my was my man, boy. Oh, Rocky Mount, what's up? Hey, I'm I'm originally from Bailey, North Carolina. I'm living in Asheboro right now. Rebound. Two minutes left on the clock. Love brings the ball down. Carolina up by 10. Two for 14 from the field. 
Walton with the ball gets it to, to Leaky Black. Back out top to Baycock. Baycock drives. Oh, nice dish off to uh to Manic. And there's a goal 10. He was gonna make that anyway. Western North Carolina. I've been there uh one time. Actually, I don't it may be different, but I when I when I, when I heard Western North Carolina, I thought of uh North Carolina Wesley. I don't know if that's the same area. That's actually in the mountains, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's just not good defense. We talked about playing in this. I would. I'm telling you, that was my boy. Ryan was good. Uh, Carolina's trying to hang on here. All right, missed free throw by Ali. Rebound, Baycock. Love walks the ball up the court. Actually, that was not Love. That was um, – We have another turnover. Lackadaisical pass by Love. Davis is not on the court. Don't know why he's not on the court. One, two, three, four. Maybe he's maybe he's in the corner right here. Nope, that is not. Love has the ball. I'd rather have Love out there handling the ball. Nine seconds to shoot. Love steps back three. Off the mark. Baycott got gets his hand. Somebody stop the ball. Stop the ball. Oh, Ali stops, pops a three over. The rim, no good. 50 seconds left on the clock. And they foul Love in the backcourt. 81-89, 46 whole seconds on the clock. Everybody knows 46 seconds could turn into two minutes. Yeah, you are, Conrad. As soon as I saw that, I was like, I was like, dude, got to be close to my age. Got to be. <laughs> Luke May. I, when Luke May was in, uh, well, after he, re, after he graduated high school, he was in the, uh, he came, he played in the North Carolina Coaches Clinic, uh, I think, uh, um game all-star game and me and my daughter watched him play and uh, I, I thought he was pretty good there man i you know i actually thought i actually thought luke might get a chance to go pro but i don't think it's worked out for him yet kind of hard to to figure out what position he would he would play but he could shoot the dang ball the point is, you have options. Ed Coda, Julius Peppers is his first cousin. Yo, um, believe it or not, my young, my youngest, my youngest brother, Cornelius, went to high school with Julius uh, at at uh, Southern Nash. And look, I used to go watch some guys play, and it was it was funny to see because at they were running the uh, wishbone. And at one time, my brother, who is 5'9", look, my brother's 5'9", in, in high school, probably at like 150, 160 pounds. They had him at fullback, and Julius Peppers, and I forgot the other guy's name, they were at tailbacks. Man, it looked weird as crap. <laughs> but Julius Peppers, I'm telling you, man, I, I'd go there like a, for a JV game, and Julius Pepper would be standing at the concession stand. And, man, that was the biggest kid I've ever seen in my life. And he got bigger after he got to Carolina. I need some backwoods. <laughs> No, come on. Who Mitch Mispiration, bro? Like we might I mean we might have ran across we might have ran across each other. Middlesex, 
Don't nobody know nothing about Middlesex, man. I could say Middlesex all day and nobody will have heard of it. And then here you go, bringing it up. Middlesex. That town, just like that. Sims, just like that. Bailey, just like that. That's how big those towns are. <laughs> I don't think, does Middlesex? Middlesex. Middlesex got one stop. They may have two stoplights now. Bailey may have two. <laughs> Man, when I was young, Bailey, they put a, they put a, a traffic signal in Bailey right where the Tasty Freeze used to be. I think it's the dang Hardy's now. And somebody had an accident there. They took it down for like 20 years. I think they got one back up now. Man, meet my home people in here. All right, my bad, guys. The score is 92-81 with 27.5 seconds on the clock, Carolina. There's a timeout on the court. Thing. Jeff Levo done came back home. I bet right after Hubert got the, the job, he was like, Levo, yo, bro, you want to come on back home? <laughs> 20 minutes from goal. Hey, what's up? Hey, so you know about Wilson, Smithfield, Chase? Well, all you guys, all you guys do. I'm, I'm sure Mitch does too. Rocky Mount Wilson. I hung out. I hung out in, in uh, Rocky Mount and Wilson a little bit. Well, um, dang, uh, <laughs> Misperation. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it's not there now. But dang, what? Well, hey, you remember that club? I don't know how long you stayed in Rocky Mount. Do you remember the club in Rocky Mount called Brown's Chicken and Waffles, bro? I used to have, we used to have some fun in that little club. Actually, it was a little it was a little club. Then it got big, and then I don't know if it's even open now. Nahunta, North Carolina. Nahunta, North Carolina. All right, Chase. Bring back with Wilsboro Speedway. Yep. Yeah. Man, like hey, like I said, the, I, I'm I'm a diehard Carolina fan, but I have yet I have yet to go to go in that stadium. I've been in I've been in uh Carter Finley. I've been in Carter Finley, but I never I have never been in in uh the uh, Carolina Stadium. I'm going to, though. I hear you, Michael. I tried to get in. They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> but I'm proud. I'm proud of I'm proud of the North Carolina uh, school I did go to, North Carolina A&T State University. Conrad, bro, anytime, anytime. Man, it goes to the free throw line with 26.1. Uh, Charlotte, excuse me, Charleston is in that filing mode right now. They're going to play this game to the very end. Man, it hits the first one. Izzy goes, bro. Yeah, that 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 could be an issue too for Luke Smith with the ball pulls a very long three, and Charleston has conceded the 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 win right there. No more fouling. I I think I was in I was in college. I don't remember exactly what year that was. I'm pretty sure I was in college when Johnny 
Johnny Dawkins, Johnny Dawkins, and uh, the boys. Huh, was I in college? I might have. I may have been in in high school too. That was that was a nice little group there. And yeah, and he he did he did save coaches coaches uh, career. But hey, you got to give it to coach. He made those guys believe. Popes, I I know I know some popes. Uh, I know a guy named Charles Pope, and he's kin to a uh, some Crummels, Anthony Crummel, and they got they had another brother too. I think they had some sisters. That's the only popes I know. Charles Pope used to play football uh, at uh, Southern Nash, and I, I think he went to uh, he and Anthony Crummel went Crummel went to uh, Elizabeth City and played football. I think we are, Conrad. <laughs> I, I've never heard of – have I heard of Lance, Lansker? I don't think so. Wallace, no crown. I heard of Wallace. Dunn, come, I, Dunn, Eastover, Smithfield. Yeah, I, I definitely heard of Dunn. I, I, I have to go through Dunn to, uh, well, not Dunn, it's Carey. But yeah, I've heard of Dunn. Enjoy your time and enjoy this one. And watch this car yeah, those those guys, those heck, those guys are older than me. <laughs> they older than I am. What's up? What's up, Mont? Hey guys, this is my nephew right here, NC Aggie. O two O two. Yeah, my hey, we we're gonna have to go, man, one day. We have to go one day. Keenan Stadium. I'm talking about North Carolina Stadium. All right, so Carolina pulls this one off. Ben in the Dean Dome. Yes, sir, Conrad. Aggie Pride. <laughs> Aggie Pride, you know. Lumberton. Lumberton. My cousin married a, a young lady out of Lumberton. Eugene Banks. He naming all the du the Dukies. I'm right, right? Eugene Banks. Yeah. Well, I, I remember him. Yep. Mike Jaminski. All right, Mitch. Hey, glad meeting you, man. Hey, you guys check me out next time. It could be Carol. Hey, I don't know when I'm going to do it next time, but definitely I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to be uh, watching Car uh, the uh, Panthers and the Washington football team. Coach Rivera comes back to Bank of American America Stadium Stadium with uh, along with Cam stepping out. Man, we're going to be able to hear them cheering all the way here in Asheboro. Y'all check me out then. Javon, okay, Javante went to your high school. Jamel J. Eden, North Carolina. Reesville, right down the road. Reesville, right down the road. Oh, man, Vince. I'm here, Vince the Prince. Man, all the all the girls love Vince. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, I, I hope Cam comes. I hope Cam comes out there and balls balls out, you know, and and just has a good game. You know, don't come out there trying to do too much. You know, if they have him passing, throwing interception, just just come out there and play. 
you know, because I what I think I think I think they're gonna keep mixing him and PJ this game. Because PJ PJ didn't play uh, play a bad game either. He didn't play a bad game. But I, I think I think the I think Coach still starts PJ, and then you know gets Cam out there. And he, I, eventually, I think I think they'll have Cam out there starting. Hey, hey, do do they still do that? You know, use yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. They actually used to do that in the game, Conrad. I, you know, I, I hadn't seen Duke do that in a while. That's some of those things you, you don't get rid of, man. Hey, I'm, I might, Monk. It's a uh, – heck, it's, I think it's supposed to be like, dang, 50-some degrees Saturday. <laughs> I might go. Hey, look, talking about, talking about traditions that they shouldn't get rid of, uh, I was I was on the stream this weekend, and the A and T band came out there, and they didn't do the Aggie Lean. So evidently, and somebody said they hadn't seen him do it in a while. So I just I like tradition too. So that uh, comrade said slapping the floor, man. Yeah, I got I I gotta uh, I gotta give it to do. I sort of like that. <laughs> All right, comrade. All right, Jackson, man, take it easy. Thanks for uh, uh, for hanging out. Hey, guys, as you're leaving, man, look, if y'all didn't hit that like button, hit that like button before you leave, man. I appreciate it. Panther, uh, Panther Nation PC is a uh, Colin. Is that a um, is that a YouTube channel? Because if it is, I'll def I'm def I'll definitely check that out. Well, heck, I'll check it out anywhere. Panther Nation PC. Because the only thing I check out for the Panthers right now is a uh, Big Cats channel. Big cats, and there's another one like I, I forgot exactly what this guy's name is. Uh, Shrill. Then there's another guy. Uh, I don't know what I, I can't remember that guy's name, but I check out a couple of them. Oh, Dean started it. That must have been before my time because I don't, I don't remember Carolina slap slapping the floor. I am. I'm definitely going to check that out and call. Hey, th hey, thanks for uh, for uh, sharing that with me. All right, uh, Conrad. My, uh, I got a uh, uh, a brother and a, actually a brother, sister, and my niece, and a bunch of cousins actually that stay in in Atlanta. Um, well. Not quite in LA. They stay in Georgia. I think I think um uh Stone Mountain, Georgia and Decatur. Yeah, Big Cat Colin, though they be getting crazy over there. Him and Unc and Ray. <laughs> they get crazy. <laughs> Went to school in K Town. All right, babe. Bud. All right, guys. Once again, thanks for hanging out, guys, and check me out next time. And I appreciate it.
Speed Ups taps a new keg every 35 seconds. Her beer is so fresh, it'll make...
This is Antonelli. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, not sure exactly which game, but definitely Sunday. Sunday when the Panthers come home and they play the Washington football team, I'll definitely be here then. So I'll check you guys out next time. Appreciate you showing up. Peace.